From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, eight days in a row of clouds and looks like day number nine and day number 10 are coming our way. Saturday, we, we're cloudy pretty much and then we see isolated flakes flying and even a rain shower Saturday afternoon and evening. It's not going to amount to much. Again, Friday, isolated rain and snow, light stuff. Saturday, same story. It's just going to be kind of gray and dreary until Super Bowl Sunday. That's when the sun will return. 26 tonight, clouds, flurries here and there. That's our low, 26 to 28 degrees to begin our Friday. Here we go, temps going up to about 37. And again, we'll mention the isolated rain mixing with wet snow. Not real widespread, but it'll be out there. Cloudy skies, 37, cloudy, cold, light mix, light mix. All right, nothing to, to complain about. Well, you could because it's day number nine of clouds. Day number 10, Saturday, scattered mix, 40. Sunday, we get sunshine, and that should warm us up to 48. Lower 50s Monday, scattered rain Tuesday, and then it's back down with scattered snow by next Wednesday. Anita. Thank you, Mark. Here's a look at today's top stories. A terrifying multi-county crime spree has come to an end now that police say the suspect is behind bars. Over the last few weeks, an armed robber has been hitting up gas stations and Dollar General stores in Lake, Geauga, and Cuyahoga counties. Then last night, police and the FBI arrested David Johnson in Euclid. The Geauga County Sheriff says the 32-year-old has an extensive criminal history. Johnson is facing two counts of aggravated robbery and more charges are expected. The World Health Organization is now calling the coronavirus an international public health emergency. The outbreak, outbreak that started in China has now sickened nearly 8,000 people and killed 170. And for the first time, the virus has spread from one person to another here in the U.S., and we've learned that second patient traveled to Cleveland but did not show symptoms. Meanwhile, we're still waiting on test results from two suspected cases in Ohio. And the Ohio BMV will start sending email reminders to drivers when it's time to renew that license. It'll also include a link to a personal document checklist to make sure you have what you need to get that new federal compliant real ID. That's the ID you will need to have to get on a plane starting October 1st if you don't have a passport. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.